Welcome back to the channel. In the last video we've got the carb sorted out. We've now got the bike running reasonably well. We're now going to go for total strip down. Okay, so about two years ago the brakes were totally um, refurbished, apparently. I will be going through these again because obviously two years is a long time and the bike's slack doing nothing. Pads look okay. Might change them anyway. And I'll be respraying the caliper. Okay, so there's the thermostat housing, I'm guessing. That's the sender for the um, temperature. And I think that's not working. I'll take it up and have a look at see if there's any uh, issues. You can see a lot of furring inside there, you probably can't see on the camera. <clears throat> but I know the gauge on the um, display is working, so I tested it. So we'll get that out and we'll have a look and see what's going on in there. Okay, I'm having a bit of trouble with some of the bolts on the back, they're not coming off, so a little bit of heat will help them out.
not sure the torque setting on that. I'm sure we're supposed to be tighter than that.
I've managed to get the headstock off without using a special spanner. Reading through the instructions in the stand then, you can use a C spanner to do that. It's quite straightforward. <coughs> As for the bearings, um, they don't look awful, but they don't look great either. I've cleaned them up a little bit and there's a little bit of dirt and scum on them, but nothing, nothing awful. Uh, I'm not going to bother cleaning them up for the sake of, I think it's under £30, you can get a, a complete set, so I might as well be doing that later. I'm going to get the bike totally stripped down before I start sort of taking anything else apart. Just looking at the um, bearing shell itself. I think it's called the race. So looking at the bearing race, there's a few marks on there. But it feels okay. I think it's just a case it's been sitting in the same position for so long, it's just caused uh, minor discoloration or whatever. So we'll, we'll take that out, we'll get that change for the sake of £30. Okay, so now we're going to just carry on with the, the strip down. Okay, so I know the radiator fan works because I have tested it, and the radiator doesn't leak. Although it is quite grimy in there, there's a few bent fins, but I'll, I'll clean that out. Um, bend some of the fins back to shape, and that should be very serviceable, I think. Nothing wrong with that. That's a little bit out of shape with somebody's over tightened the, uh, the Jubilee clip. Okay, so the oil cooler is in a similar condition to the radiator, working but looking a bit tired. Mark there. Again, I clean enough, have a look at it. Uh, if one's cheap enough, I might get another one because it is a bit grainy. You see that mark there. Okay, we're just going to get the uh, exhaust off and then clean around the bolts for us with a wire brush. And then I'm going to put some uh, releasing oil, WD-40, GT-85, whatever it's called, on the bolts. Give me a little look under there. Okay, so it's not in bad condition. They're not terribly, terribly rusted. Okay, let's get some GT-85 on there. sit for a while and I'll do it again later. I don't want to be diving in then to threading in bolts. I can't believe how easily all, all those came off. They came undone. The last one's a little bit tight, but uh, that was surprisingly easy. Okay, so that was surprisingly easy. They all come, came out quite well. The last two studs did come out. Now that one did try to unscrew itself. Then it gave up towards the end. That one's kind of well at the end. Okay, pleased with that. So it's making a bit of a struggle.
Okay, I think that's seen better days. Try and get it all cleaned up. I think I'll put that air pipe back on there that I took out. It's an air pipe or a nice hydraulic pipe or whatever. That's going to be completely stripped down at some point. Okay, so looking over this, you can see there's been greased in the past, quite heavily actually. So you can see the bike has been possibly looked after. We'll give that a clean down when we put it back on. Trying to figure, figure out if the shock is working or not. Didn't feel bad when I did ride the bike. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, strip down is nearing completion. We've got the wire and loom off. Uh, make note of everything that you've taken off, label it all up so you know where you are. And once the wire and loom is off, there's not a lot left then. I've taken the um, front chain sprocket guard off so I can see what's going on in there and I can slip the chain off. I don't want to break, break the chain because there's nothing wrong with it so I want to slip it if I can help it. I've got the swing arm to take off and then the engine's then going to come out. I've already loosened off all the bolts so I'm pretty much ready to go. held in with one bolt so I better get this back on the floor. So just as I was about to comment on how easy the bike has been to take apart, I'm on a bit of trouble with the last bolt. It's the upper engine support bolt. I've got the lower engine support bolt off. I didn't have any trouble taking anything off. Even the exhaust manifold bolts came off easily. So that's the lower engine support bolt. I just got the upper engine support bolt to take off. Now it's held in there and there, where it hooks into the frame and the engine. And then you've got an exposed part here. On the last bolt, you can see a lot of rust here. The back of the bolt, the uh, the head of the bolt is all chewed up, so it looks like somebody's had trouble in the past getting it out. So I put some penetrating oil on the bolt, and I'm going to try heating it up with a blow lamp and see how that works. Okay, that's so there she is. I didn't bother videoing it. There's a lot of ugliness and banging and swearing, so you didn't really need to see that. So that's the end of the bolt, which is a bit mashed. I think I may have con contributed to that as well, so I definitely need a new bolt. Okay, engine out.
Okay, so we've got the frame apart and the engine separated. The first thing I'm going to do is spray the frame. As far as the engine is concerned, I'm not going to do a hell of a lot. I think there's a little leak from that sensor and possibly that sensor. The rest of it looks quite dry. I'm not going to paint the engine, I'm not going to mess about with it too much. You can't see it with the fairing on anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. So once the engine sorted and the frame is painted, then we're just going to reassemble it. I'll then start fixing and cleaning up parts as and when they go back on the bike. Okay, if you join me in the next video, we'll get started on the, uh, the frame.